Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Knock Knock. I'm your host, Nickel Fritz, and we're about to have a suave, satisfying time in this lovely little... Wow, this is a big house. Lovely little world of Knock Knock. <sighs> Are you with me today? Are you here with me? Because I want you to really be with me. I want you to say with me our mantra. We are together. We are forever. We will only know happiness, and the nightmares will go away. Once again, we are together. We are forever. We will only know happiness, and the nightmares will go away. Thank you for repeating our mantra, and welcome back to Why Haven't I Looked In Here For So Long. Okay. Oh. Hey! Bushel Benjamin! What happens if I touch you? Okay, that time you made things bad. Feels like I stepped on something living. Maybe it was just a glitch before that Bushel Benjamin wasn't making things bad for me. Must have been a glitch, or I just didn't notice. Okay, so Bushel Benjamin, Leafy Lenny, all of them are just bad news. All the, I, I've just got to accept that all the monsters are bad news. Bad news. No, none of the monsters are good news. We have to be accepting of this fact. Because if we don't, we will never move on. Uh, Oop. Wait. Okay, no fun things to remember. Or imagine, rather, in there. I always say remember, but he's not remembering. He's imagining. He's bringing to life the things that make him happy. And making the nightmares go away. Footprints. Dirt. Still a bit fresh. This is reason to recent. What is that? Did I really walk through the forest in my sleep? Well, there's some new news. Some new news. Some new news. Ah, that made me think of new new Nick. Aha! Uh -huh. You really need to wake up, then all this will end. Okay, thanks for informing me that I'm still asleep. Don't worry, in the dawn, everything will be over. Oh, mm -hmm. the sadness and sorrow will be ended. But Nunu -nu Nick, I went to this lovely place in a town by where I live. It's a lovely little place called Waldo's, for those who happen to know of it. Hi! Wow! Okay! Freaky thing on the wall, but never mind that. We've got things to do. Oh. Yeah, I hear you. Nope, I wanted to, to, to not. Okay, wait. But yeah, when I went to this place, this lovely little place. Uh, a uh, yeah, tumbleweed. Ah, oh, there's no escaping it. Ah! 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 Forest debris leaves earth bone. Tiny tumbleweed, what have you done? Oh, goodness gracious, I can't get through this. But they decided at this lovely little place that my name would be... New New Nick, because there was already a Nick. Actually, there was already a new Nick. There was never an original Nick, but New New Nick. New New Nick. Hey, New New Nick. How's it going, New New Nick? That's what they called me. It was rather nice, actually. Okay. Hurry up to this room, turn the light off! Well, what was that? How did I get- Oh, right, because I ran into tiny tumbleweed. Hmm. Good, remember something. Maybe time. Hey! Uh, I don't know why. I probably should stop doing that. Is this gonna- Am I gonna get trapped in here again, and then I'm going through a hallway? Okay, fine! If you want it to be off, I'll let it off. Did you whisper? Nothing in here, okay. Why are my foot, my, 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 my feet so heavy when I walk? Okay. Think about something important. Something which I can hide behind so there's at least some safety. I like safety. Let this be a pile of leaves. Okay. That's not safety. That is not what I would classify as safe and reassuring. In fact, that would be the exact opposite of safe and reassuring. Hey, you! Are you flirting with me, crazy legs? I mean, you've got some crazy legs. <laughs> I don't want to touch them. Huh? I'm walking very far away from all the safety things, and I don't like it. Because now it's got me concerned. Imagine something. Okay. I mean, I'm not gonna complain again, but I could have used something a little more, I don't know, able in which to hide. Yep, yep, we want this to go away. Goodbye. 
Thank you for playing. Come again, Duncan. Mm. Doop a doo, a doop a doop a doop a doo, doop a doop a doo, a doop a doop. Can I go down here? Have I been down here yet? No, I have not. Okay. Okay, so so far, I think I'm actually not doing too bad. Is there anything in here? No, okay. They have no idea where I am, which is good. As long as I don't get... Huh. Oh, this is the door to the outside. No, I don't want to be down here. Walk, 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 walk. Get away. Because I could come right through that wall and then smack dab in the end of the house. They would find me. Doop-a-doop. doop doop a doop doop a doop a doop doop a doop Ha! Okay. No reason to freak out. There was nothing bad happening there. It was all a stressful situation, and now that we've moved on from that... Windows, interesting. Why would I remember wi Why would I imagine windows? That's a very aesthetically pleasing room, except for, you know, the big old face on the wall! But everything else is fine. Do you see me? No! Should I? I don't know. I think the dragon, Schmitty, doesn't like it when I look outside. I feel like he feels like he's being watched. I feel like he... No, oh, right, right. I decided long ago that if I hear something when I walk in a room, that I'm going to leave immediately. Because if I, if I walk into a room and they whisper, that means that they're kind of already looking there. If I turn... If I turn the light on, that tells them that I'm there. So we decided long ago that was a bad choice. Here's okay. They're not looking here yet. Ooh, and maybe they'll remember something good to hide behind. Yay! Oh boy! Ah! What? Ah! Okay. Why? No. We're so close. We're so close. Don't take us from me now. We've almost got it. It is almost hours, and it might they as well. No, 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 because the day is over. Right back, right back, right back, right back. They're really freaking close. Ah, that wasn't worth it. Oh. Ah, hey, Jeffrey, goodbye, Jeffrey. Jeffrey, no. Jeffrey, no. Don't do it, Jeffrey. Ah. No. Woo. Thank you, Jeffrey, for not doing it. You've made my day. My morning, in fact. This is how to play the game. They are only visible in the dark. I've picked up on that. Thank you, sir random narrator person who's writing this note. Let me snick it, perhaps, because this is most assuredly a series of unfortunate events. First, you turn off the light in your home and open all the doors. As soon as one of the doors slams shut, close your eyes and say our mantra, I am glad to see you. Thank you for coming. If you did everything correctly for a second, you will see a fully set table with a round loaf of bread in the center as we placed it there before. At the table, there will be people staring back at you. Remember their faces. Recall their voices. These are the invisibles that you brought to live in your home. Hmm. It sounds kind of like a seance gone bad. I'm not liking this very much. Where are the all the where are these notes leaving leading us? Huh. Could we possibly have reached the near end? Could this be where all comes together? Could this be our final night in the woods? Ah! Oh! Hi. Uh, I, I, um, what do I do about you? <sighs> okay. Are you actually getting closer? Or do you just keep dancing like that? Because at the moment, I don't know what to think. 
Why are you here? Who could you possibly be? Okay. That's fine. Hey! Did someone just enter my room? And enter the house? Leave the house? What are you gonna do as I open, as I turn all these lights on? Does this mean anything to you? Ah! Hey! Someone is staring at me from outside, constantly. Yeah, maybe! What do you want? What? Is there something wrong with me? I'm pretty sure someone is definitely staring at you from outside. Right there! In case you didn't notice, the giant woman... ...watching over your house. You know, maybe I've been mistaken. Maybe you're an angel? Who keeps coming through my doorway? Huh. What am I to discover? I'm guessing that this must be the end. Uh, unless there's that circle things around my mind, there's like this big monster. Do I have to fight her? I don't know. It's, is she like a boss battle? I can't, this doesn't feel like a game with a boss battle. I can see you. Who are you? Yeah, I can see you. I feel like you should know who she is. After all, Help me? Why are you begging for help? And are you begging for help from me? He lost me when I was very little, and then he lost his mind. Oh god, he stopped seeing me. Wow. Is that her talking through you? He lost me. Is that maybe actually your daughter? And you forgot about something you said. You forgot something very important. You forgot about your daughter and left her in the woods. Is that what you did? Is that what you've done? Is this all your fault, sir? What have you done? Worldologist. And if that is your daughter, who did you marry? How could you leave her? Maybe I should check the entrance just one more time to make sure it's locked tight. Have I ever checked the entrance to make sure it's locked tight? I don't know. If the measurements aren't lying, then these are not hallucinations. These footprints are real, and they're not mine. But who can know for sure? After all, this equipment is old. I don't actually see any footprints at the moment. She's not getting any closer. Okay, she's just kind of in the background. Is the doorway locked? Hey! Um, the first time we learned about the program was in the fall. About six months after the unrest. They described it as a community initiative. Most of the tenants gathered in the courtyard of our complex. No one knew what was going on. Everyone was shouting, worried, and guessing what would come next. All kinds of rumors. The program. Who are the invisible? What is the program? I feel like I've missed so much. There's more if I ever- Wait a minute, hold on! Have I missed so many pages? I never checked the door before! I, I never checked the door before it was opened! And there's pages here! There's so much- I have missed so much! It came down to this. I, I think I missed so much. They would be removing children, holy crap! As if from unfit parents. For what purpose? Who knew? But against the backdrop of everything our government had done and justified in recent years, the outlook was most sinister. At, at some point, I decided to grab my son 
and escape the city to the middle of nowhere. This must be my father's handwriting. This is my father's handwriting. I'm the son. They were removing children. Have I missed so much? First news about the program. First, the summons arrives. And they announce a gathering, usually at a school. Then the Dornhawkers come. Young bastards like volunteers wearing some party insignia. They go through the complex with lists and check who shows up and who doesn't. I'm not the only one getting clever. Everyone is getting ready to leave for somewhere. We've already been given another family's furniture to look after. Everything is changing. Parents are hiding their kids with other people. So now we have two more. We have new, two more pieces of furniture. That's where all the furniture came from. I, I don't leave my child's side for even a minute. Even in my sleep, I hold his hand. The other children sleep with us too. It's crowded. The world is falling apart. Seems to me the situation is headed for civil war. I had a nightmare. That our turn came. We were led to the school, shoved into what used to be the gym. My son and I sat in a cell with a small barred window. I tried to push him through the opening. From the other side came shouts that any kid they catch would be taken unconditionally. There is no suffering worse than this feeling of helplessness. I'm assuming that's a girl, but I hadn't considered the possibility that... I mean, that has to be a girl. I'm ass I don't want to gender it. Her? Him? I don't know. But the long hair would give me suspicion that it's a girl. But who is the son? Am I the son? And is this my father's handwriting? Wait a minute! Wasn't I just on page five? What happened? Why is it seven now? It's past the time when I should leave this apartment, but concern for the children stops me. Stumbling around like a sleepwalker, I don't recognize a thing. They look... they took the little ones. I haven't seen them for at least two days. I suddenly found another child in a corner. Who is it? No one knows. It sits in the corner wrapped in a blanket. Doesn't show his face. Doesn't say a word. Sometimes I think it may be a girl. Is this the one we're talking about in the corner? I, I won't drink anymore. All I can think about is my little invisible one. Holy crap. The invisible one, he's talking about the girl. I think. Doesn't eat or speak. I, I, I'm not pressing. I, I don't even want to watch. Let it keep playing hide and seek. The child is like clothes with nothing inside. Doesn't take food. But all those kids. They forage for themselves. Somehow, little by little, they've learned to look after themselves. Most likely, all I need to do is just love her. And eventually, she'll show herself. Now it's G. What is, unless it's supposed to be a 9. Maybe it's a boy after all? That's what I'm wondering. Uh, it started to make little noises from inside the blanket cocoon. All odd squeaks and croaks. It still turns away, but at least now it's reacting to me. It seems like it's really invisible. It, it tries to reach out and, and touch me from time to time, but there are no hands there, o only emptiness. Maybe she escaped from the program? I is that what they're doing to our kids? I shouldn't be thinking about it. I, I, I don't want to. Am I a creator of this program? <sighs> Found the bedding on the invisible bed, crumpled and tossed about as if in disgust. I gently asked why. I, I only creaked out something about how the bed smells bad. I took it out for a walk. It's a dry autumn. Lots of scents in the air. We picked berries and leaves and I asked which smells it likes. Silence. It accepts nothing. And then it lets me know that it wants to get something to show me. I let it go. The city is almost deserted now. Why not let it run around a bit? How many pages are here? <laughs> there is no child in the house, but on the bed, I found what it brought back for me. Strange selection, a, a few shriveled maple leaves all mixed up with wet dirt, as if it scooped them up from the ground in, in cupped hands and carried them home folded in its clothes. Now all these rags have to be washed, whether I want to or not, I'll have to see what's hidden inside. But I think I can already guess.
<laughs> we became strangely close in the weeks that we spent together. Is that all? Wow. Are, are these the pages that I've missed throughout the levels, or, or, or is this just a whole heck of a lot here in this, this level now? So we don't- this must be the invisible one. That is the invisible one. Now visible, maybe? Wow. How many- I got two more- three more rooms now. I gotta- I gotta- I don't understand what's happening. Was there time somewhere? How could this be possible? I'm only halfway through the night. Have I missed things somewhere? Will I ever figure things out? And it's like there's no more notes in the door. Was I supposed to be unraveling the story, like, throughout my time here? I don't know. How okay, I missed a... Let's hurry up. Get over here. Turn this... Here. Room, room, room. Come out. I don't want to do the time yet. I just... I feel like there's still something I've missed. And I'm not certain that there's only 11 pages. And I gotta get all the lights on too anyway. I want to know more what's going on. I want to know more of this story. Maybe I'm gonna have to play multiple times even to get it all. Cause I, like I said, I don't know for certain, but I believe that there is another ending. It's only rumor at the moment. Where is this? Oh, whoops, sorry, I gotta go this way. Ah, wrong button. Will there be any more notes to find? Or have we come to the end? But still, like, the, it's so far from morning. I don't understand. I mean, you know, so to speak. Hearing those doors open. Who is even opening them? The invisible one! That's who left the footprints. So is this girl here, is that a metaphor for the visible for, for the invisible one? Because I actually do have an invisible one that's been walking around and wandering around. That's where the footprints came from, is from the invisible one. The invisible one is the one who took my diary. The invisible one is this little girl that I found. Okay, so I am the author of these notes. Those pages were the actual pages. And all these little notes are the invisible one playing hide and seek and leaving me notes and trying to leave clues. But that still doesn't explain the monsters. However, it's all in my head. I have gone insane because of the invisible one that has been haunting my house. And so I have nightmares and dreams and it turns out the lights. It's playing hide-and-seek. The invisible one is actually playing hide-and-seek. And that girl... I think this is the actual invisible one. That's what she looks like, but she's always invisible. So she's not actually out there in the woods. That's just explaining to me what's going on. Imagery, or, 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 or... A metaphor, if you will, but not quite. Any more notes? Is any more notes? No. That was quite a lot of notes. Wow. It's like all of a sudden the pieces of the puzzle have come together, and I think that I get it. Now I am curious. When I go to get this time, what will happen? The time will progress, and what? How much more is left? The door is open. Before I go out, I gotta I got see if there's another note with that other doorway. Alright. Who keeps turning off that light anyway? Alright. Well, here we go. What are we about to find outside? But I've already had this dream, and not too long ago. The hour is at hand. It's time to get ready to leave. Well, that's what I was trying to do. Of sadness. 
You're out here. I've avoided you in every single moment in the past. But now I'm curious. My curiosity gets the best of me. Oh. Oh, 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 okay, avoid them. Oh! Okay, okay. So now I have to actually avoid the monsters out here. Oh, okay. So I have to avoid the monsters that are going to be chasing me out here. In the woods. Oh! Maybe these monsters are creations of the program. The children are taken and, and made into the, the, these, these monsters, which is why they've been haunting my dreams. And I'm trying to save the invisible one from this fate. Okay. Well, hello, Leafy Lenny. Goodbye, Leafy Lenny. We're gonna avoid you. I just don't know if any of these monsters are gonna be actually following me around, but okay. And I've only got a little bit of life because once this whole thing cracks, wait a minute. I think I've only got a little bit of time because I think the cracks are actually getting closer and worse as I go on. Are they? I I think that they are. Ah! Oh. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. They're getting worse. I only have so much time, I gotta find her. Maybe every time I see a monster, maybe I don't Okay, there's 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 a Benjamin guy over there. There's a there's a Bushel Benjamin, there's a Leafy Lenny, and a Bushel Benjamin. Just gonna ignore you, goodbye! But I need to find the girl. And these lions are- Ah! Hello, Bushel Benjamin! It's fancy meeting you here! I probably don't have much time! Ah! I, 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 I shouldn't have been so slow. I should- I'm, I, I've been so thick, so thick, and so slow. I didn't even think about- Okay. Where's the girl? I don't have a lot of time! What happens when they get to me when I lose my entire sanity? And what if I don't find the girl? Ugh! No! This is so- I've come so far. We have come so far together, you and I. All of us. And this journey will not end in tears. We will find the girl. I found her! Don't you dare run away from me! I've got- I've got, I've got little- very little of time left. I've got very- Little time left! And if you fl flutter away from me, I don't know if I will ever find you again. So please, for the love of all that is good and decent in this world, do not fly away. If only I could get- Ha! Ha ha ha! Okay, 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 I got to you. See a tall, wibbly wobbly tower? Very tall house. Is this the apartment that we left? I wonder what have happened. My own curiosity ponders how that would have ended had I let <laughs> the cracks get to me. How much time did I have? Would I have had to start that whole level over? I don't know. What the why my mouth? Oh crap! Oh crap! I gotta get back to the house. Oh crappy crap! Okay, well I might just find out what happens when this all gets to me because I'm about to lose my sanity. Oh Benjamin Bushel, Bushel Benjamin, whatever your name is, I don't. Ah oh, no! 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 Oh, I'm so close! Ooh. <laughs> So gonna be close. <sighs> this close. Victory was at our hands. <sighs> I don't. I, I'm heartbroken. I don't know what to do. I I I I I finally found her. I was hoping for so much more. Something so much more <laughs> climactic than that. That was detrimental to my feelings and everything. Wow. There was so much in that. And I'm still going to have to find out what happens in, a, in another episode. Where, where, where? Huh. Oh, man. Oh, man. Well, I believe that we will find the ending of this in one Final episode. I thought I was going to be there two episodes ago, but I've run into some trouble. Wow. And I, I sort of walked right out. I was like, oh, hey, hey, Bushel Benjamin. Come at me, bruh. Let's let's you and I hug and get all the crackly, wibbly, wobbly lines to come over my face and drive my sanity out of the window. <sighs> so anyway, 
Thank you all so very much for watching. If you like this video, share this with a friend. Or probably share the whole series, because if you just share this video, they might be a little bit confused. But take them through this playlist, you know? You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. Anyway, I will see you all in, I hope, the conclusion of this series. Until then, this is Nickel Fritz, signing off. Toodaloo.